Did you guys see that? The stealth upgrade that Apple did to this, the M3 MacBook Pro. I'm talking about that claim that the processing speed slash power of the MacBook Pro was gonna be the same whether it was on battery power or while it was plugged in. That sounds like a pile of hooey, right Monty? So after all the tests that I've done, this MacBook M3 is faster when it's on battery power. By how much? Well, keep watching. Now in general, the expectation is that if a laptop isn't plugged in, it's going to be slower. It's kind of why we have desktops. But for Apple to say that this device doesn't suffer that same fate, it's like a booze company saying that the stuff they sell <laughs> is healthy. Now I'm a reviewer, not an influencer, so if Apple makes a claim like that, I personally need to see if it's true. Now for this video, I could have gone with SceneBench, GeekBench, kind of all those standard tools, but I decided for this video to base my test on real life. Real life as in, I'm a video editor primarily. So I did three speed tests involving creating proxy files, optimized media, and exporting 4K video files using Final Cut Pro. I recorded each test with the GPU and CPU core Windows open and an average results over five tests and did them both for the laptop while plugged in and on battery power. For the proxy file test, I used 30 gigabytes worth of raw footage and turned them into HD proxies. On average, it took about 324 seconds to do all that on battery power. Now that same test while plugged in, it took the MacBook Pro on average 337 seconds. So a whopping 13 second difference. Not much of a difference, but it was notable. Now in terms of system usage, the MacBook Pro seemed to be more active with the efficiency cores, the load on the performance cores and GPU were about the same. So for the the next test, I took AVCHD footage from my Sony cameras and converted them to Apple ProRes. It took on average 160 seconds for 15 gigabytes worth of footage. Now when plugged in, the average was only 170 seconds, so the test didn't result in a big difference. When it came to the system loads, the MacBook Pro relied heavily on the performance cores and the GPU. In fact, the GPU was close to being maxed out, but with the results with the laptop plugged in, I had two efficiency cores that were really active. Now that seemed a bit odd, but Monty and I have an explanation for that, and I'll, we'll explain in a bit. With the last test, which was the 4K export test, it took the MacBook Pro M3 on battery power 1109 seconds to export the file. While plugged in, it took 1115 seconds to finish. So on average, it's a six second difference on a test that took on average 18 and a half minutes. So it's a very small difference, but still the difference is there. Now for the loads with the machine, both plugged in and on its own, had a couple of efficiency cores kind of pegged. There was low activity from the performance core and there was kind of mid use of the GPU cores. I did notice that the load on the cores while on battery power was more consistent. When it was plugged in, the cores seemed to do this a lot more. Now that seems kind of odd because you would think it'd just be the same, but I do think there is a reason for it. Now if you're wondering about the battery life, to do all the tests on battery power took about four and a half hours. My battery started at 80% at the start of the test and when I was done, it was 30%. So that's a 50 charge for four and a half hours, which is actually pretty crazy given that I was processing stuff on this machine. Now, another thing I did notice was that I couldn't hear the back of the laptop. So doing all that processing, I did not hear the laptop's fan come on. I'm sure they were on, but they were whisper quiet, which is something that I couldn't say with the Intel MacBook Pros that I had a couple years ago. Those things were like So overall, my performance tests with this device, plugged in or not, kind of, it was faster, but they were such small amounts that it's borderline irrelevant. But still, this is something I've never seen until now with the laptops. And I've gone through many in my decades of video editing. You wanna see the first laptop I edited on? An iBook. Look at this chunky thing. It's still so awesome though. So here's why I think while this device was plugged in that it was just a tad slower. When the MacBook is on battery power, the OS isn't running any sort of background tasks. Now, when I was doing the test while I was plugged in, I had to wait for either background processes to end or do a reboot so that it's just stopped the background processes, which kind of explains the differences in the core performances because they would just do this when they were plugged in, but when it was on battery, it was just really, really flat, which kind of makes sense because when on battery power, the OS really just wants to do what you want to do. But when you plug it in and there's just basically free power. It's just gonna do everything it needs to do. Did I miss anything, Monty? So that's all I got for this video. I got two more videos I'm planning to do with the MacBook Pro M3s, which is a speed test as well as I'm trying to figure out how to test the battery life because 22 hours is a really long time to just test something. First time watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe so that every single time I show up on the internet with a dog and a tie, you get notified. Thanks for watching.